uh, I think it's becoming more important because uh, you take China, it's now a t $10 trillion economy and it, it's uh, a very big export market now for many other economies. A good one in Europe to, ex to consider is Germany, uh, a big exporter of capital goods to China. And uh, what we're seeing now in China is it's no longer just an assembly point, no longer is it just multinationals with factories there that import um, uh, products that are parts and components and then get exported from China. Chinese own final demand is becoming more important. Uh, on the fiscal side, the challenge is that a large part of the stimulus uh, has in the past come from local governments. But local governments are now quite heavily indebted and they ha are very dependent on la revenue from land sales. But the property market correcting has led to a big drop in revenue from land sales. So we don't think there'll be that much fiscal stimulus. Uh, the focus will be more on monetary policy stimulus. When, as Asia starts to reach the mature stage of its financial cycle, the concern is uh, credit risks. We know that debt levels are very high, uh, property prices are very high at a time when interest rates are, are very low. Uh, when interest rates do uh, start to rise, uh, the risk is we will start to see defaults in the region. The challenge will be to try and avoid uh, these defaults becoming more systemic. If China's economy uh, continues to slow down as we expect, uh, the, there is some scope for other economies to pick up some of the slack. but. I think it's difficult to fully offset the China slowdown. We do think there are some bright spots elsewhere in Asia, and I would particularly emphasize India. Uh, but the reality is India is uh, nowhere near the size of China, and so we'll not be able to offset uh, the, the China slowdown completely.